Hi, this is Brandon from Tate Talk Tech, back here again with another video. Today I'm going to be covering changing the font and size of console text inside of a Red Hat slash Fedora uh, and Debian based distribution. So let me give you a little background here. Two events have led me to make this video. I recently converted a laptop into an Ubuntu server. Uh, for my home with no GUI, and I also usually run my Red Hat and Fedora VMs without a graphical user interface. Now, the problem I kept running into was how freaking small the text was. It was really hard to read and kept straining my eyes. So I set up on a mission to change that, and now you got this video. So the methods are different for both, but not difficult. If I had to choose the easier method, I would have to say it is Debian. Now, before jumping into it, I have a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like this, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Uh, so let's get into it. So when we were when we're talking about making the adjustment in Debian. It's pretty simple. You're going to have a single command. Now you're going to need to run this command as either sudo or root. So we're going to just do a sudo dpkg reconfigure and then we're going to do console tax setup. All right. And here you go. It's going to it's going to prompt you into a wizard. So this first one right here is just having you uh, choose your encoding. I'm using UTF-8, uh, which is the default setting for this particular distribution. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and hit enter. And then here, I don't have any particular preference for my alphabet, so I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter. And then here, here's where you will actually be selecting what type of font you want. Now, there's some information above that will give you more information about the different fonts, so read through that if you're curious. I'm going to go down here and select Terminus. And then I'm going to go ahead and select, let's go with 12 by 24 frame buffer only. All right, and hit enter, and then boom. We can already see that the text is is quite a bit larger than it was before. So all you have, like, it's not uncommon when you're working out of a console for any of the graphical interactions that you're having with it to stay there. If you need to clear that out, you can always just do either a clear or a or a control L. We're just going to do a clear, and there we go. We've gotten that cleared up and taken care of. So before moving on to Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, and Fedora, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it uh, or a dislike if you did not like it. Lastly, let me know what you liked or didn't like or if you have any questions down below in the comments. So moving on to Red Hat Linux, it's a few, it's going to take a few more steps to actually get to that point. But the first thing that you want to know about Red Hat, uh, Enterprise Linux, and it's text uh, text size and font is there's a specific directory that's actually going to have all of those those console fonts located in them and, then, and you're going to use ls uh, user lib k uh, kbd and then it's going to be console and then fonts all right and this is going to give you a ton of output um, it's going to get and these are all the different all the different fonts that you have available. So what I'm going to be using for mine is I'm going to be using, let's see here, let's see which one do I want to use. I, I'm going to use, trying to find like a, a, a decent size one here. Let's just go with um, I'm just going to go with uh, lat2-16. So it's going to be lat. It's going to be lat2 tac16 dot p s f u tac g z. All right, so that's lat uh, that's going to be lat2 tac16 tac, I'm sorry, tac16 dot psfu dot gz. So now that we've, now that we've actually chosen our, our chosen our font and text size, and one of the things that you'll want to keep in mind is this, the larger the numbers indicate a larger font. So just make sure you choose a font that works for you is you're going to want to go ahead and engage your text editor of choice, which in my particular case, I'm just going to go ahead and use Actually, I'm going to use Nano today. Let's use Nano, and then let's just do Etsy uh, vconsole.conf. 
Now, there's only two things in here. That is the key map, and that's also the font. So what we'll do here is we'll actually go here to the font, and then we'll go ahead and put that in, put in the font that we want, is we'll do lat2 tac 16psfugz all right, so I'm just double checking here to make sure it's all correct. All right, perfect. So, all right, let's go ahead and save that. All right, now what we need to do is we need to do a reboot. All right, and give it just a second here. And you're probably not going to see as big of a difference with this one as you did with the with Debian, just because the the font size isn't as significantly larger. But I can tell the difference between the two of them. And you all with Red Hat, you have to make sure that you're going to that you're going to do a reboot after you after you've made the change to make that change take effect. So yeah, pretty simple either way that you do it. So uh, just remember inside that the files, the files name is Etsy slash uh, vconsole.conf for, you know, config. And then you want to change it in the font uh, equals field is where you're going to do that and then save the file and then reboot. All right. So perfect. Uh, that covers changing the file and size and the text in Debian and Red Hat and Fedora consoles. Thank you for watching the video and have the greatest of days.